His stated intention of visiting the site earlier this week drew threats from Islamic militant group Hamas. But that didn't put off Itamar ben Gavir. The ultranationalist Israeli National Security Minister started Tuesday with a visit to the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, or Temple Mount, to Jews. The Israeli government I'm a member of will not surrender to a despicable, murderous organization. The Temple Mount is open to all, and if Hamas thinks that it will deter me with threats, they should understand times have changed. The hilltop is the third holiest site in Islam and the holiest site for Jews. Israel captured it from Jordan in 1967, but the Jordanians remain its official custodians, under an agreement which allows Muslims to enter any time, while non-Muslims can only do so at certain times and on condition they don't pray. In recent years, though, there's been a growing movement of Jews who support worship at the site. Ben Gavir has long called for greater Jewish access and has visited before, although Tuesday was his first time as a minister. The Palestinians have called it an unprecedented provocation. We consider this break-in as an official Israeli invitation to a round of violence that will be hard to control. We call on the international community and especially the American administration to move immediately and to stop the activities of this government. Competing claims for the holy site have sparked numerous rounds of violence in the past. In 2000, a visit by then opposition leader Ariel Sharon, accompanied by more than 1,000 heavily armed police and soldiers, sparked the second Palestinian Intifada, which lasted until 2005. Palestinians view Ben Gavir's visit as a potential precursor to Israel's new far-right government taking complete control over the compound. But Benjamin Netanyahu, now in his sixth term as Israeli prime minister, has pledged to preserve the status quo around holy sites.